this being an year where we bear fruit for God. This being an year where we bear fruit for God. And so we still base our foundation on the same. And uh, I want to say that it is important, very much important for us to know that the message that we want to share today, it is not only about us to just say, Sio kusema tu. But it is to say and to obey because it is the will of God for every one of us to bear fruits for God and not fruits that will just be there for a few days or momento, but they are going to be fruits that are going to last. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Now, the Bible says, actually these are the ones were the ones of Jesus that a tree is known by its fruits that is Matthew chapter chapter 12 and uh, from verse 33 listen either make the tree good and its fruit good fanya mti kuwa mzuri na matunda yake atakuwa mazuri so either make the tree good and its fruit or make the tree bad and its fruit bad for the tree is known by its fruits mti ujulikana kwa matunda yake hayo ni maneno ya Yesu mwenyewe please be, be with me please be with me those are the ones of Jesus himself a tree is known by its fruits. There are many trees of different fruits in a nursery which have the same color and probably the same size. We know nursery. Tree nursery. Tree nursery mali ambapo there are trees of different kinds now, one thing with these trees is that they are all green in color. All of them, they are all green in color. So, at that particular time, when that tree is of that age in the nursery, you cannot tell. Ni muembe, avocado, apple, any, any tree. I mean, name them. You can't tell. So, it is until you be patient enough and sometimes even when you buy that tree you kienda kupeleka. You're not very sure. Not very sure. The other day when I was going to home we shall go, I bought some harsh trees. Harsh avocado trees. Na nikanunua apple. Mango trees. And so I went and planted home. And uh, I thought kulingana vile nimeambiwa because niambiwa in 3 years time utakuwa ukikula matunda. Tena nikapanda. Sasa hii niko mwaka ya tatu, ya pili na sioni dalili. I can only wait until mwaka wa tatu. Kwa sababu mahali mti tu ilikuwa kidogo tu chini iko tu pale pale. Inakuja tu pole pole sana. So I'm just waiting for the magic that will happen the, the third year. Muti ikuwe kubu alafu ipate matunda. <laughs> yeah? So the point is this, that I have to be patient myself also to wait and see what type of a fruit hii maembe yangu itatoa. Ama hii avocado yangu itatoa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Now what we are saying is this, friends of God, that the only time you can know what type of tree of a tree it is, it is when that tree is fully grown. And not only when it is fully grown, but by the fruits it will produce. By the fruits it will produce. 
Now, the time of growth, I don't know. It depends on the tree. But now, come close to us. Ninaongea kuhusu sisi ambao ni miti. Ambao sisi, tunaitaji kuzalia mungu matunda. Ni vizuri tujiulize. What type of trees are we? Or what type of a tree are you? Wewe ni mti wa ina gani? Because tunaongea kuhusu kumzalia mungu matunda. Wewe ni mti wa ina gani katika ufalme wake mungu? Another question is you claim to be a tree that you are. What is the evidence of the tree that you claim to be? And we are saying the words of Jesus that a tree is known by its fruits. So where William Christo and I think that's why also God put this in me so much that on, on the issue of being ambassadors of Christ. Because as an ambassador, you really have to represent your, 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 your authority, the setting authority, well, very well. Very well. So for you as a child of God, for you to bear fruits and fruits that will last and fruits that will please God, ni vizuri weze kuelewa ya kwamba pia kuna process na kuna mambo ambayo inaitaji kufanyika ndiyo ule mti ukaweza kuzama tunda mazuri. Wanesu wa sifiwe sana. One thing is for sure, one thing is for true. Nobody, including children, can miss to identify the type of a fruit even from a distance. Sai tuko season ya maembe. And nobody cannot tell hiyo ni maembe. Even ukipita tuko barabara. Jana nimepitia, tumepitia mali and then I saw some people wakiuza maembe. Mzuri. Actually, just outside the, the, our, our, this road. Very nice. Until karibu nisimame tuchukue ingine, weleos kuna ingine kwa nyumba. <laughs> because it's so nice. Inaka nzuri. It's, 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 it's well presented. Yeah? So, everyone can be able to tell, uyo, uyo ni maembe. Na kuna mtu wanaeza sema, uyo ni maembe, ma, maembe avocado. Uyo ni maembe ma, 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 mandizi. There is no way a fruit can mix unless ni pudding. Ukitu unaikula ndani. Lakini ikiwa peke yake, it cannot mix. So it is good for you as a child of God to know what type of a tree, what type of a fruit I am. Now, today I want to speak about watch out where your seed falls. Watch out where your seed falls. Now, for this fruit to come, it began somewhere. Wana sifio sana. Actually, before kwa seedbed, kwa seedbed ndiyo tunaweka seedlings, ndiyo saa tunaita nasari na fikiri. Yeah? So kwa hii seedbed, mahali ambapo tunaweka mbegu, mahali zinaanguka, hapo ndiyo kazi yote inaanza. Na inapo anza hapo, inasonga, 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 paka inafikia mkulima mwenye nataa kupanda kwa shamba yake. Now, we are saying, watch out where your seed will fall. Because where your seed will fall, it will determine if that seed will grow or not. Hallelujah. It will determine if it will grow or not. And so by the grace of God, and the grace that God has given us this year, I pray that you desire and purpose that in your life you will be a tree that will be productive. A tree that will be productive. You will refuse to exist only to consume. You refuse to exist only to exist. Kukama tu kueka tu kwa sababu unaishi. We are going to be trees that are going to bear fruits and fruit that every other person, believer or an unbeliever, can see. Refuse to be cast. If we are trees that should bear fruits for Christ, if we don't bear fruits, what would happen? And I'm not saying you're going to be cast. No, you're not. In fact, you're blessed. Amen. You're not cast, you're blessed. And nobody can tell you're cast. And if, you are tell, if you're told you're cast and you believe it, oh, unto you. 
But if ever anyone sells you or cast you kata, refuse and say you are blessed. Now, I'm saying this, why? Do you remember when Jesus and his disciples, they were on their mission, and then they saw a tree that was very green. A tree that was very green. And from a distance, because I mean, yes, what you want and you are coming to Kienda Pale, assuming it was a mango tree or a, or a avocado tree or whichever kind of a tree, assuming ndio hiyo aliona pale nikifika because of ile nimetembea na ile ja niko nayo tukifika pale tutapata something to eat. And so the Bible says when Jesus got there, there was nothing in that tree. The tree was so green. It looked nice. It looked good. But there was nothing inside of the tree. There was nothing. Can I bring it this home? This would compare to Christians who look so good from outside. Well, I see sana. Who look so good from outside, putting on well, but inside there is really nothing. Nina muomba mungu, na nina ombea kila moja wetu kwanzia na mimi. That from outside I will not look good, and inside I have nothing. Me our inside carry Christ. Hallelujah. May the inside of us, us carry God. Somebody sang a song. When you carry God, you carry everything. When you carry God, you carry everything. Ukibeba mungu. So, this tree was cast simply because outside it ka vizuri. And don't be deceived when you are very much okay. You're going to church and people are going to church and you think they are okay. No. That tree was cast simply because it looked nice. And I think, this is just thinking, it's not in the Bible. I think the reason why Jesus was very mad about this and he cast, it is because when he was going, alikuwa na expectation. Akienda pale anaona mtu na kavi zuri, so akona matarajio. Ya kwamba atapata kitu. Only to realize there is nothing. Wana sifio sana. I'm saying, tuzalia mungu matunda na tuyabe kwa sababu. Kuna wa kristo, kuna watu pale inje, wana kuonanga wewe ukienda kanisa every Sunday, yeah, every Sunday, and so in them they think you have something. Imagine that day they will come to you for help. They will come to you and they realize, kumbe, ni kufaya nini? Vile tunasambanga huko inje, kumbe ni? Kutupa. That should not be, that should not be you. That should not be us. So I think the reason why Yesu alifika pale na kaelani na fikiri ni kwa sababu aliona yani with all the hopes with all the hopes surely hakuna kitu hapa ni kama vile unaendaka ukiwa unasikia jaa sana ama kiu sana I remember one time we were in Magandi and we were very thirsty so tunaenda tunaona duka mahali na tunaona kuna kuna fridge kwa barabara tukajua hallelujah hapa iko maji ya kunywa unaenda tu ukiwa very excited kwa duka kununua maji unakuta soda hakuna maji we were demoralized. I mean, like, at with soda, we were like, 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 we were So we felt disappointed. So may there not be any other child of God there or any other person there that will come looking for you because you are a child of God, because you go to church, because you dress well as you go to church, because you, like, you are 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 like, and what will happen is this. What will cause it not to happen is because of the fruits that you desire to carry. Because of the fruits that you desire to carry. Don't just be a church goer. These years, we said last, I think two Sundays ago, don't just be a church goer. Dare, dare, dare be different. Bear the, dare, dare. Tamani sana. Ukwem Christo tofauti. Christo ambao matunda yake, hata, <laughs> people just love it. Bana sifio sana. So when Jesus cast that tree, what happened? By the next day, that tree was dry. It was dry. And that is why I say, by all means this year, you cannot afford to remain in the same place that you were last year. Bana sifio sana. Can I give you a secret? Do you see the way you were last year? Spiritual growth yako ya last year? Now, let me tell you. If this year you want to go to another level and you continue with the same habit of last year, you still be in the same place. 
the way you were doing last year and you saw how it ended for you this year uku umeanza vile vile na unaamini tu Mungu mambo itabadilika and you are doing nothing about it i'm telling you for sure it will be the same you have to dare be different you have to do something as the farmers for that tree i told you of my dad in the village who used to cultivate and put a lot of manure on kahawa miti ya kahawa when the season comes inatoa vizuri sana because there's a lot of work that has been done on this coffee tree a lot of work has been done no you are a tree that has to produce a lot of work needs to be done on you bonus if you sana and as the lord is doing a lot of work in you then you have to be ready and willing today i was sharing in bitters we had a service there in the morning and i was telling i was sharing on he is willing are you god is willing we are reading from psalms 103 where david is saying bless the lord o my soul and do not forget all his benefits and then he says he he will heal you know he he will forgive all your sins he says he will crown you with mercy and love he says he will heal you and he says he will satisfy you vanessa si fiesa sana so this work for you to do not just to sit for things to happen and for things to change i will not yes i will say you be blessed I, I, that one is in ashida but i will not tell you it will be automatic you will grow yes but growth is not automatic all of most of us here we have children or we have seen our sisters brothers growing they are wana za wana wanazaliwa eh siku moja and before waanze kukula it takes time before they start walking it takes time but the mother the parent has to be very intentional on making sure kwamba i am feeding this i am doing this because i know kuna kitu inafanyika every day bwana yesu asifiwe sana so by all means you cannot afford to remain in the same place as it was for you last year if you want growth if you want to bear fruit unless if your purpose to stay in a status quo unaka tu pale pale if you have decided that you're going to do something for the lord do something extra bwana asifiwe sana for those who pray you've been praying for one hour last year add some more time to pray for those who have been committed to the work of god add more commitment you just just sell yourself be totally sold out to god and i can tell you for sure even before the end of the year utakume mzalia mungu matunda na vitu zitakuwa zikionekana right now we are talking about spiritual fruits we will be talking more about this in the coming days now in the daily routine of jesus He came to a place and sat down probably he was very tired that very day and as soon as he saw i mean people saw Jesus uh they came and they sat around him and uh, many times when Jesus saw people he took advantage of that of the of the time na advantage aliyochukulia sio kuwapatia story alichukua advantage ya kuwapatia neno la Mungu. And so Jesus took that advantage of that opportunity. He got into a boat that was nearby. He sat down and began to teach the word of God. And the Bible says Jesus told them many things in parables. And one of the parables that Jesus taught was the parable of the sower. And that is what I want to read. And that is why I'm asking or saying watch out where your seed falls. Chunga sana mahali ambapo mbegu yako inafanya nini? Inaanguka. And listen to what the Bible says in uh, uh Matthew chapter 13 from verse 9. The Bible says I mean from verse 1 to verse 9. Matthew 13 verse 1 to verse 9. The Bible says, 
That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea, and great crowds gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower saw in Panzi, Amam Kulima. A sower went out to sow. Alienda Kupanda. And as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path. And the birds came and devoured them. Or the birds came and ate those seeds. Other seeds fell on rocky ground. Mali kuna mawe. Where they did not have much soil. And immediately they sprang up. Since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose they were scorched. Wakati mvua ilikuja kwa sababu haina mizizi. Wakati jua ilikuja, ilichoma sehemu ya juu pamoja na mizizi, kwa hivyo yote ikaangamia. Ika ika ikakuwa, you know, ikachomeka na jua. And so and since they had no root, they withered away. Verse 7. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced Grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. Bonus was if you are son. Now, what happens anytime when you go to plant? Nini ufanyika ama? Matarajio ya mkulima yoyote anapoenda kupanda matarajio yake ni yapi Mazao asante sana Mazao Kumaanisha anasi basi kama nivo aliye tuweka hapa ambaye ni Mungu matarajio yake kwetu ni ya kwamba tutaweza kuzaa Now, what happens as a farmer if you plant and the seeds don't grow? Vizuri. You are disappointed. And there are sometimes questions you ask. Season hii kwa sahi kuna mari nilipanda maindi na maragwe. Na nikajua itavuna vizuri. I don't know what happened. Nilitembea huko kwa shamba. Nikakute ya kwamba maindi hiko ndiyo. Lakini maragwe hakuna. Until ni nauliza majirani. Kwani ama ili, because ni milikaa sana kama sijaenda. Ni kauliza ama ili mea muka nivunia. <laughs> ama ili mea ikakua ready muka vuna. Because sioni na ilikuwa ni meweka mingi. Yeah? So I felt disappointed. I was like, nilipanda imarago yote. Na niaji hakuna. You know. So God is equally happy when our seeds or us bear fruits for him. Now, the expectation of everyone na wakati wanaenda kupanda ni kuvuna. So huyu mkulima, I did it, do not know what was happening that wakati alienda kupanda, sijui yake ilikuwa ni kurusha ama ilikuwa intentional because there are three areas or three places ambako amepanda chakula chake. Ya kwanza tunambiwa kwamba, kuna zile mbegu alikuwa na panda. So, I assume maybe those days awoku wanapanda vile tunapanda. Labda walikuwa tu wanaenda wanarusha. Alafu inamea. So this particular one akaweka moja katika mahali kuna barabara. And you see now along the barabara eh, there are many instances kuna watu wanaweza pita pale. Na tena kwa barabara kuna ndege ambao wanaona vizuri sana wakiwa kule juu. And actually the first one as the Bible says some seeds fell along the path but the birds came and ate them up. Some other seeds fell on the rocky ground. Mali ambapo kuna, 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 kuna rocks, miba. Zika tokea vizuri, lakini hakuna vile ambavyo mizizi yake ilikuwa inapata mahali pa kuenda. So baada ya kutoka, ikakuwa sasa haiwezi jikajishikiria vizuri. 
ikakauka because jua ilikuja ya tatu the bible says some sins fell on thorns and when thorns grew they were choked wakati ilirushwa pale baada ya zile kumea miba ikazi ikazi dunga dunga so katika ile hali ya kudunga dunga hata kama kuna yenye inaweza kuilimea kidogo iko weak it has no strength it cannot do anything it cannot grow so that was a story ikaisha hivyo but then the bible gives another one a tree this farmer hata akipanda a tree nguvu yake yote ijapotea hivyo because the bible says some other seed they fell on good soil wanaesa sifiwe sana and they produce grain in abundance and let me tell you friends haya ni maneno ya Yesu anaongea yeye mwenyewe na anapoongea kuna kile ambacho anaashiria kwa wale watu ambao walikuwa wanamsikiza bwana Yesu asifiwe sana and that is why i'm asking you the question watch out or even where does your seed fall begu yako inaanguka wapi and let me say ninapongea kuhusu mbegu siongei zile mbegu zinaongelewa pale nje ya pesa unaenda tukutoa kiwango fulani ya pesa ndiyo mbegu i'm not talking about that kaidre i'm not talking about money i'm talking about you as a person and what god has put in you as well when you see your son so where do you plant that seed and not seed money but the seed and the seed here it is the word of god hallelujah the seed ya mbegu hapa tunaongea kuhusu neno la Mungu siongei kuhusu pesa sahi so where does the word of god fall in your life je neno la Mungu linaanguka wapi katika maisha yako and i want you to note this that it is the word that will cause you to produce the best type of fruit that you will want to produce for the kingdom of god bwana sifiwe sana it is the word the word neno la mungu ndilo litafanya uweze kutoa matunda mazuri mazuri ya matunda nzuri ambalo ungependa kutoa katika ufalme wa mungu praise the name of jesus now let's go to verse 18 let's go to verse 18 Now actually this scripture is self explanatory iko tu wazi it is for you to receive and purpose what kind of a fruit uh, you want to or seed you want to be Now verse 18 Here then the parable of the sower This is now when Jesus decided to explain what he meant by the these three or four seeds that were planted by the sower by this farmer because i'm sure kuna watu walikuwa pale wanauliza yesu sasa mbona tuelewi unajaribu kumaanisha nini na yesu was gracious enough and he explained verse 18 here then the parable of the sower when anyone hears the word of the kingdom of of the kingdom and does not understand it the evil one comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart Let me repeat that verse 19. Na muelewe vizuri watu wa Mungu. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom, yeyote anapolisikia neno la ufalme wa Mungu and does not understand it, akose kuelewa. The evil one comes and snatches it away what has been sown in his heart the devil comes and steals what has been put in his heart this is what was sown along the path and i think i just want to submit this i may be wrong or right but let me just submit this that we have so many people who come to church who go to church and the only thing they may remember it is they gave their offering sadaka kanisani but walikosa kuelewa neno ama kupata neno lilivyokuja what the devil does is that the bible said 
When anyone hears the word, kama vile unavyolisikia, or does not even want to understand, does not even go or look for the pastor or the preacher of the day after the service or even in the week and ask, Pastor, ulijaribu kumanisha aje hapa, siku elewa hapa. Or even sometimes even go through the media. We do the records and you can check again and listen again and get to hear, alisema nini hapa. So if you do not do that, you will not understand. And that is why Jesus was saying, if you don't understand what the devil comes, does, the evil one comes and snatches away even the small that was put in you. Huh? He comes and snatches it away. What has been sown in your heart. Right now as I'm sharing with you, there are seed, there's a seed I'm planting in you. So it's my prayer that you be sure, that you understand what I'm saying. And even if you don't understand now for the interest of time that you may not ask a question, go through the video again, listen, or ask me, I will explain. Because where we go wrong is that we come to church every Sunday, every Sunday, every Sunday, brethren. And after church, on Monday, Tuesday, ask what happened on Sunday. Very few will remember. Those are the scenes that fell along the path. Nazika kuliwa. Now, kuna mazao itatoka. Hakuna. Sindege alikula na akamaliza yo. So there is nothing. As a farmer, even if you want to come after a week or two, you will find nothing. Absolutely nothing. Vanessa sifio sana. So, there is a seed that I'm planting in you right now. Where is it falling? Where is that seed falling? Number two. So that is a seed that fell along the path. Now, as for what was sown, verse 20, as for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. The one that was sown, I mean, in Pandora, kwa miba. Situliona ilimea. Lakini baada ya kumea, sijua iliwaka. Na kwa nini ilichomeka? Kwa sababu haikuwa na nini? Na mizizi. Have you seen those people? Uh, si wanangi sana hapa, and I'm not saying that wasikue. Uh, you know, unakuta, the word is being preached. They are very excited, very excited. Watasimama, hata wataruko, watasema, preach it, preacher. Lakini they are very excited. Very excited for nothing. Excited, just ile tu kuchemuka, chemuka mingi. But the word is not getting in. They are just excited because of the mood, maybe. So, as for one son on the rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with great joy. Yet, he has no root in himself, but endures for a while. And when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. Iye nyiringia kwa miba hii. Na hii nafikira tuko, ikona, ikona, ikona wa kristo wengi? Ha? Huh? Wako wengi? Naomba mungu atatutoa hapo. Hallelujah. Because what happens is this. Sina sikia babi nasema ya kwa mba Jesus was saying, they are very excited because they receive it with joy. Lakini haina mizizi. Haina mizizi. Mti wote ambao hauna mizizi, hakuna mali unaweza enda. Na hawezi kuwa na matunda ya maana. Hawezi kuwa na rotu banzu. I mean na, na utamu wake. Kwa sababu hayuna mizizi. And so the Bible says, this person has no root in himself, but it was for a while. But when tribulation come, when persecutions come, on the account of the word, so kila ambacho walisikia, walikifraia sana, na wakakipenda sana. Eh? Wakisikia kwamba tuliongea kuhusu uongo, watu wasiongea uongo, neno la mungu linakata uongo, wanasema yes, that is the word. Yes, that is the word. Lakini wacha wakutane na mahali kuna nafasi ya kudanganya. Na anaona hapa nisipo sema ni taumia. Anafaya nini? Anaongea uongo. Anu wale sasa walianguka katika hizo. Because awana, mis, awana mis, misingi, awana si misingi, mizizi ya kushikilia kile ambacho walisikia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. 
So where is this word falling? Hili neno la leo. Sijui linaanguka wapi. Where is it falling? Now. As for what was sown verse 22, as for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word. But the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and it proves unfruitful. Huyu yule ambaye E, mbegu zilianguka katika miiba and remembering we are talking about the word huyu ni yule ambaye <laughs> alilisikia neno na akalisikia but one thing with the one two and the three seeds it is that they are not growing they, are, they don't have roots inside of the heart zinakuja tu juju And so because of the cares of the world na kudanganyika kwa ulimwengu they are choked by the thorns you know they are picked eh, wanachomwa na hizo miiba so ukichoma mwiba ama mmea wote hautaweza kumwea vizuri hautaweza kuleta matunda mazuri and so Jesus says these people they are they are they are they are they are, they are, they are choked and so they cannot be fruitful Hawezi wakatoa matunda mazuri. Because the word did not get inside of the heart. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Now, the good story is this. This farmer in as much as alipande zile zote na hakuna iliyomea, zilikuwa zinakuja tu kidogo ya kwanza haikumea kabisa ilipotea hivyo ya kwa ya pili na ya tatu zikamea lakini hazikuwa na matunda yote ile. Mstari wa 23 babili nasema hivi. As for what was sown on good soil this is the one who hears the word listen for the seeds that were grown or that fell on the good soil this is the one who hears what this is the one who hears what the word thank you huyu ni yule anayesikia neno and understands it anaelewa ne, anasikia neno na anaelewa neno he indeed bears fruit and yields in one case a hundredfold in another 60 and in another 30 bwana asifiwe sana huyu wa mbegu zilizoanguka kwa mshanga mzuri uliokuwa na rotuba ni yule ambaye two things here friends he hears the word and he understands the word can i add something that he also obeys the word Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Now, many times friends, you have heard the word of God. I do not know where that word has been falling in your heart. Is it a heart ambayo inakaa barabara? Is it a heart ambayo imejawa mawe? Is it a heart ambayo imejawa miiba? Is it a heart ambayo iko na mahali pazuri? Ya kwamba neno likiingia. Hallelujah. Neno likiingia linaingia unalielewa na unapasu hilo neno. I'm reminded of a message we shared here sometimes back of the condition of the heart. Now can I say this that the heart your heart where the word is being planted unaweza kuwa iko na miba pale depending on how the condition is ama miba pale ama tu ni barabara haina chochote ama mahali ambapo kuna mchanga mzuri praise the name of jesus i want i want to believe even without asking i know it is a desire of every one of us that your seed or the word of god that you hear every day that it will fall on the good soil i know that is your desire but then you have to purpose it in you Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. 
you have to purpose. Now, for you to bear fruit. Now, look at what the Bible says. He indeed, who? The person who hears the word and understands it. The word of God and understands it. So, the, 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 the thing is here, Lord. Also, desire to understand the word of God the way God intended it to be. Because there are many times we read the word of God and we have our own interpretation. Sinikweli? Yeah. Kuna watu soma neno na wanakuja kuinterpret vile wanataka. Hata hii script ya nawasomea hapa hivi. If I am a crook, nitaibadilisha hivyo nawambia seed ni pesa, leta, begu, pesa mzuri na upande vizuri. Yeah. People have just read the scriptures on attack, we interpret the video on attack. So what you need to do is this. make a prayer that God, I want to understand your word. You are, you are in, the way you intended me to understand it. Vile ambavyo ulimaanisha liwe, nilielewe hivo. And then when we understand that, my friend, the Bible says, as this farmer, the Bible says, he indeed, this person who understands the word of God and hears it, he bears fruit. Anazama tunda. Vanessa sifio sana. So, number one thing is this. I finish. Number one thing is this. For you to bear fruit for God, you will have to hear the word of God and understand it. Or even read it and understand. Because to hear now, I have to preach to you. You have to hear it being preached. Now when there's no one to preach to you, read it and understand it. That way, it will be easier for you to bear fruit. Usipo soma neno. Usipo lisikia neno. Na ulielewe vizuri venye mungu alikusudia ulielewe. My friend, utaru, utakula rusho wa huko nje. Utadanganya watu huko nje. Utaribu marafiki wa watu huko nje. Eh? Unaingia mahali unakuta marafiki ni wazuri, wao unaingia unakuwa poison. You spoil everything. Yeah? Unaingia mahali unakuta kwamba kuna ushirika, the moment umeingia pale, you become a spoiler. Because you don't have the word. You have not read. You have not understood the word. So what happens ya kwamba unaenda unakuwa miiba, unachok. Unaenda unakuwa mawe, unagonga, unaumiza wengine. Wanesha sifuye sana. My prayer for you, my prayer for us as a church, is that we're going to be a church where we hear and understand the word of God. Is it Jesus who spoke to the devil that man cannot live by bread alone, but by the word that comes from where? The mouth of the Lord. So, I also want to say this. Can we stop being lazy? To read the word. Can we stop being lazy to listen to the word? Sometimes tunasikiza vernacular station na zinaimba nyimbo za mudhongodho the whole week, the whole day. And you have no time even to listen to the word. Surely. How will you bear fruit? Unasikiza manka... Ocha tu. Unamsikiza the whole day. <laughs> eh? Kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni. And you have no time even to listen to an authentic man of God preach the word. I mean, you, you, uh, uh, itaku, itakuwa ngumu. Itakuwa ngumu. The word. Ebu naomba winu mkono wako tuwa kulia maali huko. Nasema maneno haya nyume yangu. Bwana Yesu. Nisaidie. Ya kwamba mbegu ambalo ni neno lako. Yangu. Itaanguka katika mchanga ulio mzuri. Nisaidie 
tulisikia neno lako na kulielewa na zaidi ya yote Bwana nisaidie kuzaa matunda yatakayodumu kwa jina la Yesu Just make a prayer for yourself right now. Just open your mouth and make a prayer for yourself. Mwambie kulingana vile ambavyo umeelewa that word. Just say the Lord, may your word always find good soil in my heart. May your word always find good soil. Ndiposa inapoanguka itamea vizuri. Nitaelewa neno na nitalifanyisha neno kazi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Father in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you most sincerely. I want to thank you so much. That Lord you have enabled me to bring your word as you put it in my heart and therefore in the name of Jesus Christ Lord there were seeds that fell along the ground and the birds came and ate them up there were seeds that fell along the rocky uh, 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 place but it grew but it didn't have root so when the sun came it is scorched it away and i want to pray father that also with the knowledge of the seeds that fell on the thorns that when the thorns grew up they scorched them and they were not able to grow so they didn't uh, bear any fruit but then there were these good fruits a uh, seed that fell on good soil father and the seed is the word and so I want to pray father that may your word always have a place in me i pray for me to understand your word as i pray for every brother and sister here that they will also understand your word in the mighty name of Jesus the name above every other name father we give you praise we give you glory and we give you honor for you are great it is my prayer the lord we are raising men and women in heaven's vision gospel church that are going to be men of the word women of the word the youths who have the word and the children who know the word and above everything help us to bear fruits for you in the name of Jesus Christ father we arise against the schemer who schemes ways that sometimes we are not able to read the word or even listen to the word we are praying my father in the name of Jesus Christ you will help us and minister to every one of us that we will walk in obedience to your word receive all the praise all the glory and all the honor in Jesus name we pray and we give thanks in Jesus name we pray and we give thanks tumpatie bwana makofi mazuri makofi mazuri yake bwana hallelujah amen now we are talking of a seed the word of god and you as a child of going to bear fruits for him as a branch and him uh, as a tree Christ you cannot bear fruits without Christ in your heart you cannot always you kamzalia mungu matunda iwapo actually uh, is it john 15 bible says uh, akuna anayeweza kuza uh, matunda ukiwa away from the from the from the branch i am the true vine and my father is a vine dresser every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes it away and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit already you are clean because of the word that i have spoken to you abide in me that is jesus saying john 15 as far for abide in me and i in you as a branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me usipo kuwa katika yesu sipo mkubali kristo yesu kama mokozi wa maisha yako hauwezi ukamzalia matunda bwana asifiwe sana so i don't know you're there maybe let me not assume you're there you're not saved and you do want to give your life to Jesus let me see you by show of your heart it's your you're here and you do want to give your life to Jesus you're not born again anyone god bless you so much if all of us are believers but in case you're there and you're not born again 
kuna neema ya msamaha ambayo Yesu Kristo ametoa kwako and you can purpose to give your life to Jesus at any time including even after the service and i believe that you will be able to bear fruit for god wanaeso sifiwe sana